and welcome to the East Baton Rouge Parish Public Library 20-somethings virtual crafts. Today we'll be working on our One Book, One Community craft, a rolled paper photo frame. Our One Book, One Community book this year is The Yellow House by Sarah M. Broom. So grab all your supplies and let's get crafting. If you picked up your craft bag, it should include two sheets of two circles, blue, both blue and pink, a yellow sheet of cardstock, some old paperback book sheets, a set of instructions, and a pencil. You'll also need for this craft a pair of scissors, some glue, and a ruler. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pages and we're gonna roll them up with a pencil. Now you can roll them this way or this way, but we wanna make as much length as possible so we can use it to outline our photo. So we're going to do it diagonally. So start by placing your pencil and rolling it up as tightly as you can. When you get close to the end, you're going to want to take your glue so that your paper will stick. Keep rolling it a little bit so it keeps its shape and the glue sticks, giving it just a little bit of pressure. If your end doesn't completely stick down, just reapply a little bit of glue and stick it down. Then you can pull your pencil out and you have your first rolled paper frame barrier. You're gonna continue this with all of your sheets of paper. The next thing that you want to do is measure out the picture that you're going to use for your frame. Go ahead and measure out the length and the width because you're going to need these to build the frame around the picture. After you get your measurements, you're going to cut off the tips of your rolls and then fit your measurements to fit your picture.
The next step is to glue that frame and your picture down to the paper. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the roof of our house. So we're going to take two of our rolls, clip their ends, and then we're going to put them on there like a roof. And mark the edges that we're going to cut. so that they fit together. The next step, if you so choose, is to add the columns to the sides of the building. If your roof overhangs a little bit, you may have to cut a couple to size. Depending on the size of your paper and the size of your picture, you may be able to fit more than two. Next, we're gonna add a little decor to our house. Get out your paper with your circles on it and go ahead and cut those circles out. For each of these circles, you're the, going to then cut them into a spiral. If you don't trust yourself to go freehand, you can draw a light circle along your paper to follow. Continue this for all of your circles. Once all of your spirals are cut, have your glue handy, and we're going to roll some simple rolled paper flowers. So start from the inside and roll your paper in on itself. Every once in a while, to keep the shape of the flower, you can add a little bit of glue.
Once you get to the end, glue it down. Continue to shape and glue your flower as needed or desired. Sometimes you need to loosen it a little bit. Sometimes you need to tighten it a little bit. Just pinch it for a little while. And then continue with the rest of your flowers. Next, we're gonna glue, glue our flowers down. So decide where and how you would like your flowers. And then go ahead and glue them down. Make sure you spend a minute pushing them down gently on the paper so that they get a good stick. Now you want to let your finished photo frame set so that the glue can dry and everything can stick well. But then you're done and you can hang it wherever you'd like. Thank you for joining us for today's EBRPL 20-somethings virtual crafts.